Hey everybody and welcome back. For those of you that are looking to learn how to preview or view your AppGyver or SAP Build Apps Community Edition app on your phone or web browser, stay tuned. I'm covering three different methods in today's video. So before we get started, don't forget to like and subscribe and check out the channel for new content. All right, so jumping straight in, the main focus that I have for today is just covering three methods. But if you do want to see other AppGyver tutorials, you can check out the tutorial section at codelessfix.com. So the first one is the one that most people are probably familiar with, but there is an added benefit to it. So when we go to the launch screen, you'll see that right here, we actually have our preview portal. So when you click on open preview portal, it'll open a screen similar to this. And when you click open web preview, it will then allow you to view all of the different apps in your AppGyver account. So you can basically just click the one that you want to open, and then you'll be able to view it just like I'm doing here. And you'll see that this will essentially just match up with the pages and what you have in your app currently. So it's relatively straightforward, but the added benefit I mentioned earlier is we can actually right click click inspect and use the dev tools in the browser to basically watch network traffic and see things that are happening to help troubleshoot issues. I have a separate video on this if you're interested. Now let's go ahead and cover the second option, which is an actual mobile app preview. So we will go ahead and show, so SAP Build Apps has a preview app in Google Play as well as in the Apple App Store. When you look it up, make sure that you're downloading the correct app from the correct developer. Basically, what this will allow you to do is it'll open a screen like this and allow you to scan a QR code for your application to then view the app in the, uh, basically the preview app, which will generate basically like a more specific experience for that ecosystem. So it should be much more realistic than trying to run the web app on your phone. So those are, I'm combining those into a single option, but if you're looking to do that, you can go to your app, click launch, and then when you go to the preview portal, you have the option to actually basically just view your app on your device. So you'll see the options here to go ahead and confirm the pin or sign in to the account, but you have the download options on the various app stores as well. So you can see, you can find it, which should match up with the one that I had previously, but you can, I found both of these on a Google search. So they should match up with really everything that you're already finding online. Now, the last suggestion or option that I'm going to say that you have when it comes to this process is going to be literally building and releasing your app. So I'm gonna show a very quick example. So I have my resume maker application. It's a web app that I've hosted online. And we're gonna go through the process at a very, very high level because I have other videos of this. So when you go to the launch screen, you can go to build services. From here, you have the option to build for your three different device types. You can configure what you need to do first for iOS, web app, or Android. What you need to do at this point is then build your application. The configure tabs offer the ability for you to control all of the assets. So for example, for a web app, there's not that much there. You choose a build scheme, your image assets, and that's really all that there is to it outside of specifying plugins. So you have to do that configure option first to add in those image assets, and then you go through the build settings, and I have other videos on this as well. But the reason that you would do this is so that you can actually publish or host it online. So I have an example here of a resume builder app that I built that's hosted at codelessfix.app. Now, this may change over time because I use this to host apps that I'm testing, but you could also put this in the Google Play Store or in the Apple App Store. So the idea is the third option is simply to build and publish your app through one of the platforms that you're looking to use. Just bear in mind that once you do that, you have to be much more on top of releases regarding bug fixes and things of that nature. If you release something too early and it ends up being broken, then you're going to have to wait for that next release to be approved before it's live for people to download. So the three ways to test or view your apps are to use the preview portal from your browser, to use the AppGyver preview app on your phone, and then lastly, to upload to really just the internet or the relevant app stores. I hope this was helpful. If you have any questions, drop them in the comment box below, and I'll see you all in the next video.